from Primrose Lane and I'm going to show you how to make a tall centerpiece that people can see through. Um, a lot of height and a lot of flowers down here on the bottom to give you a little bit more. I don't know, just something so it looks a little bit different than the regular video. You're not going to put the flowers inside the space. We're going to put the flowers upside down or the space upside down. So start, I'm not a fan of mirrors, but if you need something that's flat or plain or even just your regular tabletop, that's fine. Take some greenery and lay it all around the middle and the, to the outside of your mirror. And then just a little bit more. Up all around here. Okay. You want some flowers down inside here. And instead of using a container, I mean, seriously, you can find a small container, sit it down here, put some water in it, and lay your flowers in. The problem is, when you take this base and you turn it over and upside down, condensation is going to come in. So it's going to be like looking, looking through a window on a rainy day. So if you want it to be clear, don't put the water in there. Flowers are going to die. No big deal. They'll survive. Okay. Take your flowers. Cut as many as you can. You just need a little round ball right in here. If you get a hydrangea, one big mother hydrangea is just about all you need. That probably looks all right. Okay. You're going to flip this over. And it's going to sit down here like this. And then... Because now, hold, your whole piece is going to pop up here. It's going to flow out finally just a little bit better around here. You can take some black pebbles if you want. Just put around the edge. So once again, it goes out of this box. Otherwise, it's just it's too flumpy. Get this out again. Black pebbles or whatever color pebbles you want to use. Even just big fat river rock will find. So I started my top. You're going to need to get some greenery. You can get all of this, you can get a ton of flowers from Trader Joe's. The prices are reasonable, if not the same time, and the same price as I can get from my wholesaler. So get some of those little flowers. Maybe what do I want? And now that I put it up there, I can't see what the crap I'm doing. So let's put this down. Stick them all around. Get ivy from your garden. Use a shrubbery from the front yard. Use whatever you can, and it just you can basically do this for no money at all. Oh my goodness. It's messed up. Sit this all around in there. Just a little bit more. You kind of get the idea. Kind of done. So you're going to just put, you put more flowers in it to fill it in all the way down. Use a lot of this. And the more you have hanging, the better it's going to be. Because otherwise it's going to be tight up here and make you hold your breath. you got to exhale. So have it up here. Let it flow all the way down. Looking lovely. And then, if you want to finish this, you can put some candles all the way around. It used to be three to five, I'm telling you. The more candles you got, the better. There. That's pretty much it. Hope you like it. Start from Primrose Flowers, and I'm going to show you how to make nice containers that'll work for if you have like a themed wedding, a themed birthday, even it's for Easter or spring. So I'm looking at an old magazine. I found how they had taken old containers, actually they used glass, take an old container, ugly mother ass old container, find the material that you like, cut it to fit your thing. You're going to use spray tack. It's a spray glue because Elmer's will leave a little thing. It's just too much paint nails. Spray it to spit. Hold it on there, make sure it's even and tight. And then spray along some more. Pull it tighter and go all the way around the edge just till you totally complete the whole piece. Keep smoothing it and keep it on there. Once you've got it all wrapped, to keep these edges looking clean, you need some glue and double-sided satin is the best. Don't use Elmer's and don't use a glue stick. Glue stick is going to just, it leaves that little bump up there. You don't want to see that. So take a little bit of liquid stitch, same place you got your material from. Stick it on top of here just like you would Elmer's. Can you see that? And then put your ribbon up here on the top. Line it all the way around when you get done. So the ending piece will look like this after you get done. And then 
Once you're all happy with that, then you can make an entire group of fabric covered bases. It is endless for you. You can use plaids, florals, paisleys for heaven's sake. You can use them all. And then you set them in your little thing and there you go. You got your entire group. Hope you like it.